Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, it's still very cold and snowy here in Pennsylvania. In fact, in our 10 day forecast, it has snow every single day except one. So I've pretty much been doing everything I can to keep the joy of gardening alive inside. You know, I've been starting my hardy annuals. I have a lot of them under lights at this point. I've been forcing some spring bulbs. But I really want to get started as much as possible on the new garden area that I'm going to be working on this year. That being the driveway garden and the large um, expansion that I'm going to be doing over there. And so since I can't really do any planting or removing of sod at the moment, I thought I could at least get it ready for the birds because, you know, I love having as many birds in my garden as possible for many reasons. But the number one reason is they're really the biggest defense I have against bad bugs. And so the more birds I can have in an area, the better. And in the driveway garden, we do have three bird houses on the porch, but I don't really have anything there in the lawn area where I'm really going to want them to be working that area for me. So I went ahead and I found a birdhouse online that I really liked and it's a company called Good Directions and I heard of Good Directions when I was watching Laura's channel, How's It Growing New Jersey? And you probably already watch her, but if you don't, I would really recommend her channel. She's really just really nice and kind and a joy to watch. But she purchased a birdhouse from Good Directions and I thought it looked really nice and nice and big too and I really was wanting a bigger birdhouse for this area. So I went ahead and I purchased the Mango Villa Birdhouse, which I'm going to show you today. And I also got the White Villa Birdhouse for one of my Master Gardener friends. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox them today. And then after that, I thought maybe it might be fun to go to some antique stores and search for a bird bath. And if we can find anything there, because sometimes it's hit and miss around here, I'll probably go to Lowe's and see what they have there. So I guess enough talking. Let's take a look at this birdhouse now. So it was so funny this morning, I guess you could say great gardening minds think alike because I was just browsing Instagram and I saw that one of my flower farming friends over in zone 9B, um, the hobby home, if you want to follow her on Instagram, she's really great. She had just purchased a bird feeder from Good Directions that was this huge heart and it's a fly through feeder and it's really beautiful. Uh, but I thought that was so funny that we're kind of all on the same page and you know, thinking the same things. I don't know if you guys can see Grace behind me giving herself a back scratch. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see how she looks. Oh, yes, it is nice and big. Now, Grace is going to be a terror with this paper, that's for sure. Go on, Gracie. Well, it's packaged really well. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's going to be so nice and natural for our property, this color. So here it is. It has these beautiful stars on either side, which I really liked. And I thought that really looked like what you see here in our area. Let's see the top. So I guess this just slips on the top. Oh yeah, just slips right on. Well guys, I think this is really beautiful and I'm really excited to see it in person. You know, you never know when you order something online, what it's gonna look like in real life, but it's really exactly what I was hoping for. It's that beautiful natural wood. I love the copper detailing and I remember to reading on their website that they hire a local artist to design their products. So it's really artisan designed and I love that too. And I read that installation is really easy. So we'll see how that goes. But apparently all you do is pull dig a four by four post into the ground. Then you just insert the birdhouse right onto that post and then you drill it into the post. So that sounds pretty easy to me. So I'll give it a try as soon as our soil can be worked. So this one, like I said, is the mango wood. Now I also got the white villa birdhouse for a friend of mine that is the head of the nursing home volunteers, the Penn State um, Master Gardener Nursing Home Volunteers. 
So um, how it works with at least the Penn State Master Gardeners is we kind of got have the big boss at the top, you know, and then as you trickle down, you have all these different ways you can volunteer. So some people volunteer at the jail, some people volunteer at the school, some people volunteer at the research center, or, you know, some people like myself volunteer at the nursing home. And we have someone in charge of us, and her name's Ruth, and she's just always doing so much for these residents. Um, it's, you know, it's all volunteer work. All of us are volunteers. But she just puts in so much time and energy and love into these, you know, therapeutic gardening projects for the residents that I thought, why not bless her with a birdhouse? So let's open up this one and see what the difference is as far as the mango versus the white. Oh, this looks beautiful too. Well, now that I have them both unboxed, I don't think I can decide which one I like better. They're so beautiful, and more importantly to me, I'm just so excited to welcome more birds to my yard. And I think this white one would be really nice, especially if you have maybe white vinyl fencing, white picket fencing, something like along those lines. This would be really beautiful. But I'm just so excited to give this to Ruth. Um, she just gives so selflessly to so many people, and I think she'll enjoy having this in her garden. And I also purchased one other thing which hasn't come in yet, but it's the Villa Bird Feeder. And I purchased that for my mom's property because she's only just recently moved to the area and her landscape is not very mature yet. So in order to bring more birds to her garden, it's a really good idea to start with a feeder. So I'm excited to get that in and install it for her and hopefully I'll be able to show you her garden and maybe we can plant some things over there too when we go to install her bird feeder. But for now, guys, I think let's get all bundled up to face the nine degree weather that greets us outside and head to some of these antique stores and look for a bird bath. And what I'm really looking for, and I'm hoping we can find it, is something with a hummingbird on it um, in honor of my grandma. So let's keep our fingers crossed. We're definitely going to need to get some coffee and let's just see what we can find. So you can see it's pretty much a gray day here in Pennsylvania, but at least it's not snowing right now so we can get out of the house, but I definitely need that cup of coffee. So at this first antique store, I saw a lot of beautiful furniture in particular. Some really fun stuff that is probably from the 50s or even the Victorian era, some of them. But as far as bird baths are concerned, I did find one, but the shape was a little bit strange and it just wasn't quite what I was looking for. The price was good though, and that was tempting, but I think on to another store. So this next store we're going to is quite large. It's almost three antique stores in one and they have a lot of outdoor decor and furniture. There was three bird baths here. This first one looked like maybe it was from the 80s. I'm not really sure about the color on that one. Then this one almost looked new. Doesn't this look like a new bird bath and not an antique? And there was some beautiful urns, and then there was a blue bird bath, but just not what I was looking for. But I did see this croquet set, and I was so tempted to purchase it. Do you guys like to play croquet? My daughter is always making fun of me about how I love old things, but I really feel like I'm an 80-year-old trapped in a middle-aged body. What can you do? So let's try something other than an antique store now. We're going to go to Jake's. It's kind of a trading company. They have some lovely statuary here. Some really kind of fun and silly things. And then they had some dogs, which 
I had to hold myself back from purchasing one of these Labradors. You'll see it in a second. Now, doesn't that just look like Grace? <laughs> I just love her so much, but no, I'm here for the bird bath, so I gotta stay on track. They did have some nice bird houses too, but funny enough, there was no bird baths to be seen anywhere. Well guys, I kind of feel like I'm striking out at all these antique stores. They definitely have a lot of beautiful garden decor, some really beautiful statuary and nice tables and chairs, but I'm really looking for a bird bath with a hummingbird. So I quickly Googled bird bath hummingbird near me and Lowe's came up. So we're gonna go ahead into Lowe's and hope that it's here. And I realized too, as I was driving to Lowe's that maybe a lot of people don't know why the hummingbird is so important to me personally. And I did a video, thanks so much to Garden Answer recently, where she asked me to talk about, um, I think it was like the most impressive plant in my garden. And I mentioned this there, but my grandmother, who is really my inspiration for gardening and flower farming, she has a horticulture scholarship in her honor named the Hummingbird Award. And it was really just kind of her icon if you will growing up and especially after her passing you know everyone every woman in my family they have a hummingbird necklace you know all my plates and cups and everything have hummingbirds on them um, we have a stone with her last name that has a hummingbird and of course my logo is a hummingbird in her honor so I, I don't know, it's just very important to me to just, just find something to honor her. So let's go ahead into Lowe's and see what we can find. All right, guys, I think this will be my last stop. We're at Stauffer's of Kissel Hill, which is a garden center and a grocery store. And I needed to pop over here to get some flour for some donuts I wanna make later. So let's just see, maybe they have a bird bath. Well, I'm not even inside yet, and these look really beautiful. How much are they? Oh, they're from Henry Studio, $70. So it doesn't have a hummingbird on it, but it does have some birds on the base. I don't know, I might get that one. Well guys, I went ahead and purchased it. I'm really happy with it. You know, even though it's not a hummingbird, you know, it comes close enough and I think it's gonna match really nicely with the other bird bath in the main flower walk. So let's go ahead and take this home and get it set up. What do you think, Grace? Do you like it? Well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Okay, <laughs> I guess Gracie approves. <laughs> I think that's fresh, clean water. <laughs> Grace, you're so silly. So thanks so much for spending some time with me out here today. I'm so glad that we could just get out on a little adventure and get outside. Even if it's freezing cold, I don't know about you, I just have to get outside every day. And you know, the bird bath, it needs leveled up a bit, but I'll work on that once the snow melts. I'll probably also go ahead and grab a few more discarded Christmas trees and just place them in the garden for the winter. I just do that so the birds have a little more evergreen shelter. And then as far as the bird house, I'm gonna put that all the way over here, really close to this Nellie Stevens holly you know, probably, probably right like that. I can see this area from the living room and also I want the birdhouse to be next to a large evergreen, just so the birds feel more secure and they'll be more likely to move in because of that. 
So I'm just really excited to see this area transform this year. You know, gardens take time, right? I think you would probably all agree with me. So it will probably be three years until this area of the garden looks like some of my other areas, but that's okay. It's nice to enjoy the process and watch it grow. You know, I really enjoy the process just as much as the end result. And thank you so much for the suggestions for the pathway. I think I liked, um, someone said about flagstone and that seems like that would be really beautiful. So hopefully I'll be able to afford some of that and pick it up. Well guys, I've got some donuts to make. I see I have a garden gate magazine in my mailbox. So I gotta get busy with those things. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.